gonna try to make my antho type. I am using um, beet peels. I had beets last night and I peeled the beets. Yummy. Um, and I threw all the peels into my blender. Um, if you're using something soft, uh, you could probably use like a mortar and pestle idea, but um, these are pretty rough. So I'm going to use my blender. All right. I also have some purified drinking water on hand just in case I need to liquefy it a little bit more. I do not have cheesecloth, so I have put a little coffee filter over a bowl so I can take the pulpy ground up beets and put them in here and get my emulsion. All right, so here I go. Let's see. gotten ground up yet but you can see it's pretty chunky so I'm definitely gonna want to add a little bit of water and liquefy it. I'm also gonna try to get that chunk out without getting cut by this crazy blade. Yay. All right that thing is too big. All right so I'll pour a little bit of water in. Grind it up some more. chunky. So I'm going to put a little bit more water. And grind it up. spin around and see if I can get it any more liquidy before I try to put it through the coffee filter. I don't want it to get too diluted so I'm not trying to make it like really wet um, and it's all an experiment. I've never done this before so um, each material that you use um, and every type of liquid that you add to it, it's all going to be different variables and make it different. Um, there's no like right amount of liquid to add each time, so you're just gonna have to experiment and see what you get. All right, so I'm gonna grind it up one more time. And now I'm going to pour it through my lovely coffee filter. Okay. You want to be really safe you could wear an apron so you don't stain your clothes you could wear gloves so you don't get dyed hands beets would make your hands red i'm just going to try not to touch it too much and i don't know it's really not liquidy at all let's see if anything comes through without breaking the, the filter Definitely wet, but I definitely turned my fingers red. Maybe let me try to add a little bit more water.
chunky before. I wonder if it's more like a paste. Definitely is. I definitely see that there's liquid in there. I'm gonna do one more round. A little liquid. Whoa. last time. We'll see. This is good. This should be. What you're going for is just a little bit of liquid to eventually come through and it might just, you know, just sit here for a while and filter through the, the coffee filter. I can see it's actually starting to drip. So it's working. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna load this up with as much as I can fit, and I'm gonna leave it for a while, maybe an hour, maybe two, I wanna check on it. And when it seems like it's filtered all the water into the bowl from this batch, I still have more in my blender, so I'll throw away this pasty stuff and add the rest of the liquid from the blender. And once I have a good amount in my bowl, then I would be ready to coat paper. Once the paper dries, I could put something on it that I want to make an image out of. Um, all right, so this is going to be my beet anthotype. All right. 